uh, greetings. Uh, the O25 here. Uh, yesterday, when uh, last video, this uh, w was installed. This is the original. I don't know that there's anything wrong with it. Uh, this is actually made in Sweden. But um, when I was installing this, I discovered <laughs> this is this is hard to say. There is no, there are no threads left in this hole, and this is the this is the area that the MS two hundred and fifty the former tech had had problems with. Well, this is a this is a steel saw. Every part is steel. And there are no threads left in that. So what I've done is I've taken some... Um, I mixed up some JB Weld and took a toothpick and uh, wiped the, uh, the walls in hopes that you know the screw uh, can catch on something and it'll hold the uh, you know I did see you know one on my initial inspection that you know you could tell where the coil had uh, wound up against this so apparently that was a problem uh, you can't see that you know in advance so I may end up having to you know replace the case on it but as far as the coil went I had a spare uh, OEM coil so what I've done is I've installed that so that in case there's something wrong with this that I wouldn't have to remove it uh, if the screw holes, I can leave it alone. So that's what you're seeing here. That's what's different. Um, and so we'll get to it now Now that I've explained it. that That's just so odd. Apparently plastic is something that um, degrades over time. So, you know, if you've removed your, your coil uh, numerous times, your well, I guess that's that's what happens. Uh, the um, Mo twenty nine. I've never had to remove the coil, so I don't really have any experience with that. But I will say this: there should be no reason if it works. to have to replace the coal again. That's just so crazy, man. That feels tight. Mm. It came off. Onto the screw. Bummer. I'm going to try it again. We'll come back to it tomorrow. This time, I'm going to put a nut under it. 
so that it doesn't have to go as deep into the hole and see if that'll repair it. This is wild. It's crazy. Well, I had a little bit of luck and um, I'll tell you what I did. Um, I got, I've got it in there. Uh, I hope I don't have to take it out. Let me, let me say that. And that's why I put a new coil on it. Um, but this is what I did. Uh, I, I went, I went into the shop and looked in all my little jars. You know how it is. You, you got stuff, you keep it. I found some plastic spacers. What I did was, is I took my Dremel, put a cutting tool on it, and I cut the uh, plastic spacer. And then, of course, I drilled the I drilled the hole out in it a little larger so it would, you know, go on my screw good. And. If you can, if you can see it there behind the, uh, the connection right here. So, uh, um, I'm really lucky. <laughs> I'm really lucky on that. I'm glad that. Um, I kept those spacers <laughs> and uh, you know you just can't give up on these you get an old saw and you know you can just get deeper and deeper and deeper but I you know I think it's fun I enjoy it so I'm not like complaining or anything that's just what you do uh, you keep solving problems until you get out of it. So before I close this up, um, that's down. I've got my uh, ground wire going to the engine, then I've got it jumped, coming back to the coil. I've got uh, my wire on there good. Those are about as low. Now I can't, I can't really, you know, there's there's no room for me to push that back down. I, I think, I think that it'll go behind there, you know, without any problem. But you know when you when you get an old saw, and I, I'm going to know now. I, I will never, I will never get another plastic case. Uh, I won't need another one. I've got a small saw here. But I guess when they get 20 years old and older, case is going to be one of the first things to go. Not the engine, you know. Maybe not the coal. My 29 is at least 25 years old. It still has the original carburetor on it. So, you know, rubber can last that long.
Gosh, am I lucky. Of course, I'll need to check it after I run it a couple of hours. Make sure that the uh, JV Weld, after I used it, I had, the, I had the saw sitting like this. And so it was heavy and it sagged uh, down up. You know, I didn't think about that. So I had to take um, a drill, a drill bit, and I drilled, drilled it slightly. Of course, I could have created a leak, um, but I'm so used to drilling out uh, seals that I was able to do it and and not create trouble for myself, which of course is. great okay YouTube that's gonna wrap this up and uh, the next segment I'm gonna give you a overall look back at this project then I'll move on to something something else thanks so much please like and subscribe